sitting down with the McCuster, three-time NCAA champion in the 100 breast. That was pretty awesome. It was, it was. That crowd loved you. You know, I heard him before the race, tried to sell it out. They're, they're pros and cons to being in, in my home pool. You were nervous, huh? Definitely made me a little bit more nervous. <laughs> you didn't know you'd be this nervous, did you? I didn't know I'd be this nervous. But you still got the job done. It worked out. Was looking up at that home crowd unforgettable? After a race was awesome, you know, a, a moment that I'll, I'll never forget. What do you get that? clutch factor from. I wouldn't say so much of a clutch factor, but just consistency. You've only won three NCAA titles in a row. How consistent can you be? I'd like to say I'm one of the most consistent on the team. Tell me more. What do you do consistently? Try to do a start every day. The most important part of any race. Did it help? Still pretty darn slow. What else did you work on this year? More fast switch stuff. How about outside the pool? Recovered a little bit better this year. And why was that? I'm, I'm pretty old man, so. Pshaw, you don't look a day over 45. So what's next for you, Max? It's a good question. Thanks. I thought of it myself. I'll, I'll reflect, uh, you know, next couple of weeks. I too reflect for weeks at a time after winning an NCAA title. You think you'll train for the 2024 Olympic trials? It's kind of nice that trials is only a year away. So uh, that's definitely an option. What do you think your relationship with long course will be like this spring? I'll feel it out. So you're 100% absolutely for sure swimming after this meet. Not sure it does yet.